the route to the final. Shamuradov, Butbol, Najimud Mudinov, Yoldashev and Shamshayev were defeated by Lavrentev. It was Tarada, Aliyev, Stodolsky and Akadov who were down by Lombardo on his route to the final. The referee in the middle for this one is Iwana Babiuk of Romania and here is Neil Adams with some more information. <laughs> Yeah, just I think this is going to be a terrific match. I really do. I, I, we were just talking about it, weren't we? When uh, we were saying how we thought this uh, might go, uh, and I think both of these fighters have different ways of doing techniques, and they can kind of steal a moment. I think that's the best way of explaining it. Is, is that uh, if uh, a, a particular position should present itself they can turn it on a dime to to their advantage and I, I think they're both the same kind of fighter as far as that's concerned and that means from a centimeter off the ground or just uh, one of them makes a poor attack they'll capitalize and of course uh, Lombardo he can come he, he'll go different directions different uh, different sides I mean he does his uh, he does his he does his uh, Kataguruma and of course Lafrentev he's got uh, so many different things that he does that are unusual so uh, get ready for fireworks because I think it's going to happen here well I know where I'd go <laughs> but uh, <laughs> straight away he just went straight to floor there Lafrentev which means he doesn't want to know Newaza but of course, uh, Lombardo not known for his Niwaza. He has got it, he can do it. Can't hang on to that no. one side for too long. A lot of, a lot been uh, doing stuff off that belt. He's gonna switch it in a minute, Lombardo. Lavrentev very cleverly um, realizing that he needs to tidy up his gi. Uh, and the reason for that is once the gi was out, Lombardo, who had just been holding quite low down, I'm not going to say where, but he was quite holding low down. It's out of the belt, and yeah. you can't really so, recognise no, them, can no. you? So, Lavrentev said, hang on a minute. Let me tidy things up here. <laughs> Take that out of the equation. Looking for the uh, Kataguruma there. Lombardo. minute 10 seconds gone and we haven't really seen Lombardo put an attack in I do suspect however that uh, when it does go in it will go in hard and that uh, was a stumble Still hasn't attacked yet, Lombardo. Hasn't been able to. I mean, uh, I've got to say, Lafrentev has turned him completely the wrong way around. Yeah, he's a busy fighter, isn't he, Lafrentev? Yeah, he just hasn't given him chance. He hasn't let him settle at all. Oh, and nice. if you do let him settle, he'll, he'll take advantage of it. He's got a nice work rate, Daniel. I wonder if his brother, Dennis, is watching on. <laughs> was a good competitor himself. Kochi. Definitely. Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at that. Nice turnover there. And he's in trouble. And now he's going to go again on that. He's got the arm. So uh, is it the Udi Garami? He's got the Udi Garami. Is he going to get the submission? Lombardo decides just to hold still. Now he rolls in towards it. 
and out. Manages to pull out, <laughs> yes, he did well there. A little bit of a panic there, though, from Lombardo. Yeah, good work on the ground from Lavrentev. And Lombardo picks up a penalty for passivity. There's a, a, a short shake of the head, um, but it's the right, right thing there. Just giving him a few looks, Lebrentev, that Lombardo's finding a little bit tricky to deal with. You see that from that one-sided grip. Dominating, to try and keep isn't he? He is. Lebrentev. No, it was uh, it yeah. was uh, definitely Lombardo who initiated that. Half a minute left on the clock. Lombardo still giving the impression that he's working things out. Well, it, it, that's exactly it, isn't it? I mean, he's working it out, and I just get the feeling that he's going to get a second Shido here, Lombardo. He hasn't done anything, really. He just uh, seems to me as if he's one step behind, and the Frentev is the one that's coming forwards. Well, regulation time didn't bring us a score, but we're going to have a period of golden score now. Let's see if we can sort things out. He's in control of this, isn't he, Lefrentev? And that doesn't, uh, it doesn't reflect the actual uh, contest. It, it really doesn't. But uh, two, two Shidos now to Lefrentev. And that's the first time we've seen him absolutely being able to uh, dive underneath for the Kataguruma. First in the front of look at that hip movement there. It's just he's already through, he's halfway in already without the, the turn. That's got to be something for Lombardo. Yeah, Lombardo. I would have said Lombardo needed to get that. He hasn't done anything. And there's big arm over. Oh, now then, that was close. It was the elbow, though, and there was only... Uh, well, there was a gap in between the side and the mat. Well, that was the closest, wasn't it? And that's exactly what we were talking about there, wasn't it? About saying that they can just pull it out of nothing there. Either one of these could score. Vrentev using the hand and the arm to keep himself from going over. of them today and they just had to grind it out and uh, oh, here we are again in this final oh, it's been the the way oh and Lafrentev gets he it he gets the third penalty yeah. Lombardo just stepped things up three attacks in a row each one with Laurent Lafrentev not looking as though he was going over but he was unsettled had to put the the hand down or the arm down to avoid going over and that was the difference yeah yeah. Tiny, but Lombardo, very clever at the end there, just stepping it up with a few attacks. 